I think our plan may have only partially worked. <laughs> because Prince Charming did find us after the ball, but he's currently mid-swing. It looks like he's about to pop us in the lips. What's up guys, welcome back to Erase Master. That game where up until this point, I've been able to erase anything I want from a situation to try to improve things. And that would usually end up with me erasing people's clothes. But now I can draw anything I want. And I think at this point, we all know that trusting me with that much power is a huge mistake. She needs some light. So it's my very first day with a magic pencil that can draw anything into existence, and yet I'm saving a random woman who has gotten herself lost in her own closet. <laughs> That's a bit of a dumb blonde moment. Like, why can't she just change the light bulb herself? She doesn't even need to screw it in. Clearly, she could just stand there and then the whole world revolves around her. Well, I was right, she is blonde, but... It looks like somebody erased all of her clothes, even the stuff in her closet. Like, I can't imagine who would do that. Get her some clothes. Okay, I'm happy that we're all on the same page here and building some kind of weird continuity. But which her do they mean? The search and rescue survivor from the closet? Or Thoughtzilla over here who's yelling about having the world's tiniest hat? Because I can fix that. I might be able to give you something a little bit more suited to your head. Be something like that? Oh, come on now, that was a pretty good looking cowboy hat, right? <laughs> All right, fine, we'll give you a little something something. I'm not exactly a fashionista. I have a lot more experience in erasing clothes than drawing them, so hopefully that works. I can still question the fact of, like, I had the ability to draw anything from a diamond-encrusted evening gown to an astronaut costume, and yet I went with dish rags. So annoying. Do you mean the fact that I drew you in pink burlap, or the wicked stepsister who's currently throbbing at the fact that you shattered her favorite bong? Because I could probably fix that. I dare say I might be able to work my magic and get that back into one... No. Then again, I don't really know what it used to look like. It could have been a, a little something like this, maybe? Oh, you gotta help me out here. Like, normally I would just erase the stepsister from the situation altogether. That would be a whole lot easier. But the pencil is quite a bit more restrictive. Oh, you don't have any bristles on your broom. I can help you help yourself. I see, so I'm like a bearded fairy godmother who can only half help. Help her clean the floor. Yeah, I can see why you would need magical intervention to help clean up half a cup of spilled water. So how about I go ahead and uh, draw you the world's most crooked Roomba. I'm really sorry about that. I think somebody may have dropped it in shipping. Or maybe it's a giant self-cleaning floor button. You never know. We'll let the magic decide on the best way to screw me. Okay, then. Think a little bit more old-fashioned. How about we go with an incredibly girthy mop? I know a lot of what I'm drawing ends up looking like a giant fuzzy dong, but get your minds out of the gutter. It is a slightly oversized mop that does not want to exist. Okay, then. Like, the problem is, with the eraser, there's limited possibilities. There's only so many people and clothes and stuff that you can remove from a situation. But with drawing, the possibilities are infinite. It's like, I really need to start paying attention to the context clues. We've got a puddle of water. We've got a cup. We've got a couple of people. We've got a window. I don't know why there would be a window back here. That seems a little out of place. Don't tell me that I need to draw a sun. I was going to say you could just wait and the problem will solve itself. But no, I'll go ahead and create a second star in our solar system. Don't worry about it. Where's my pumpkin? Do you see what I meant earlier about the whole world revolving around her? I don't get a single thank you for being her fairy god. Mother, 
still don't feel right about that. Fairy Godfather? She can call me Fairy God Daddy. How about that? <laughs> you want a pumpkin, do you? All right, well, I'll do my best to draw you a pumpkin and make it not look like a dick. How about something like that? I, I can't lift up my cursor once I start drawing, so... That's as good as it's gonna get. You wanted a pumpkin? I gave you a pumpkin. Do you want the shoes? Is that what you mean? As fairy god daddy, I think that is part of my deal. She's supposed to get the shoes for me. It, it looks like your hand is ready to hold a crowbar. Maybe I can get you to bust through that window and grab them for yourself? No? Or, or I could, like, cut a hole out of the glass so we could Mission Impossible those shoes? I don't know how to help you, lady! <laughs> can I just draw some real crappy shoes of your own? Yeah, I, I totally meant to replicate those shoes by giving her a cement block on her feet. I really need those. Do you mean the pumpkins? Like, all of them? Because I just tried to draw you a pumpkin at your own request, and you denied me! And I'm just gonna throw it out there. The pumpkin that I drew, pretty dead on the money, the silhouette of these pumpkins. I think I did a pretty good job. Also, what happened to your shoes? You're in a thousand dollar evening gown and crystal slippers, and now you're back to being barefoot and burlap. I can't let you out of my sight for one second here. I'm gonna try drawing you a pumpkin once again, but no promises that this time won't come out looking like an autumn squash or a chewed up Jolly Rancher. I'm just gonna have to say close enough. I gotta say, I'm getting pretty good at this whole magic thing. Oh, here we go. Special gift for princess. Except it looks like the prince has brought us arugula? So we're about halfway to a super mediocre salad, but I thought he was supposed to bring us one of our slippers. Right? That's how he finds us later. He's supposed to take one of the slippers now. Okay, well, let's go ahead and remove one of those shoes. Come on, we gotta give him something in return for the lovely greenery lady. If you want to find Prince Charming again, you gotta do this. Don't make me draw a chainsaw to lop off one of those feet. Like, the only thing that I can think of that a prince would want from a princess is booty. Like, the problem with that is that, for one, I draw booty like it's a lumpy ear. And for two, like, you can't draw booty when you're wearing a dress that's the size of a circus tent. So how exactly are we supposed to live happily ever after if I've got Fort Knox around my waist? It's a special gift for Princess. Oh, maybe this is actually supposed to be a flower. Well, I mean, that's not nearly as practical as lunch, but <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. It's midnight time, which means when this invisible carriage is rocking, don't come a knocking. He looks like he's ready to go. He's ready to come home with us, meet the wicked sisters, and then bone down. I don't know if he's got a foot thing or not, but like, I'm pretty sure we are supposed to leave behind one of the shoes. I think? Like, I'm sorry that I'm not entirely up to date on my Disney princess folklore. Like, I I'm an adult man. It's why I'm drawing lumpy bums. I'm just gonna hope that you actually do want some kind of roughly pumpkin-shaped transportation. Hopefully that's good enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look anything like that. And by the look of things, we did leave him behind. What's the shoe situation looking like? Did I screw this up or what? talk a -tiv. I don't know if she's really talking to us. It looks like she's just roaring. Our wicked stepsister is the equivalent of a Pokemon. I would imagine she would be a whole lot less talkative if you could maybe like sweep in this general direction. Kind of brush all of that poop onto her dress. Like I'm telling you, man, these castle balls, they're nuts. You are going to have beer shits for weeks after these things. Absolute rippers. But uh, I really just want to make her quiet down. What if I stop listening? What if I give you some headphones or earmuffs? Again, we'll let the magic pencil decide. No. Can I just put you in your own elevator to hell? Is that possible? <laughs> put a safe around your head? Or a paper bag? 
It's like I said, we'll let the pencil decide. Whatever works, works. I think our plan may have only partially worked. Because Prince Charming did find us after the ball, but he's currently mid-swing. It looks like he's about to pop us in the lips. Am I supposed to draw some kind of jock strap or like, keep your fists to yourself, you little royal freak? Is now a good time to draw toes? Cause it's freaking me out. Even if they're weird little dinosaur toes, like you, you gotta have something going on down there. Especially if he has a, a foot thing. What is she laughing about? Can I draw a paper bag over your head by any chance? What do you want from me? It literally looks like he's either getting ready to fight or he's like mid-argument yelling into my cooter. Oh, he's he's probably supposed to have the, the shoe, right? Because he's presenting it to me. He's down on one knee. Yeah, that makes some sense, I suppose, but I still don't know why he was so angry. Now the fairy tale is coming back to me, right? The prince finds the princess and they live happily ever after until the following day when she becomes lunch for Mr. Dracula. Mr. Dracula, you will refer to him with the utmost respect. Otherwise, he might go full-blown Piccolo and destroy the moon. Even though I don't actually know how that would help us. I just thought that the moon stood out so much that we would probably want to destroy it or reveal it. Have the sun come up? That's a real lumpy sun too, I'm sorry about that. Clearly we need to do something with it being nice, don't we? She looks like she's got something in her hand. What if we give her a flashlight, you can blind him. Or a giant thing of garlic. Really taking creative liberties, aren't you, Pencil? Her wardrobe is really expanding all of a sudden. She's got a different outfit every day. She's always matching. I really need to go back to the erasing levels and do something about this. It's completely unacceptable. But now, of course, she's about to be zombie food. Or the zombie may be hitting on her. It's saying, woof, woof. Actually, that's probably not a cat call now that I think about it. If it is, it's incredibly ironic. So can I, like, chain the zombie down? I know it's not exactly moving, but I could try putting something over your head. Give you the stepsister treatment. Not like that. Or we can go with the cement block over the feet like I had before. Maybe I could just arm you. What if I give you a gun? Just be able to shoot a zombie or like stab it with a really big sword. Okay, I, I gotta go back to context clues. I can guess for friggin' ever. So we've got a zombie. We've got the lady. They're standing in what looks like a very big puddle. Oh, wait, is is she wearing blue shoes or is she ankle deep in a puddle? Because either way, I don't see how that helps me. We've also got a cloud that can't make up its friggin' mind on where it wants to be. Where did the moon go? I didn't end up piccoloing that thing and she's a werewolf. Of course she is, why wouldn't she be? Another day, another zombie trying to eat her ass. Except for this time, he's got a fantastic hairdo. And I I'm assuming that I want him to try to limbo underneath the stick? Because his decomposing knees and back probably can't pull it off, but I'm a little more curious if we can maybe flash him a little something something to make him go away. No, it's always wishful thinking, but I have to keep trying. All right, well, let's go ahead and have you limbo. This has to be here for a reason, right? Oh, it's a roadblock. And of course, the zombie is gonna follow the rules. Oh, I may have spoken a little too soon. They actually didn't follow the rules. They broke through the blockade, and now we've got ourselves an old man zombie who's looking like he's trying to get a little fresh. Again, I would imagine some tig ass biddies would probably stop an old man zombie in his tracks or speed him up actually now that I think about it, not really sure. It, it says electric shock, so I guess in all reality, they're kind of giving it away. We got a car battery on the side of the road and we stepped out of the puddle for good reason. Maybe we can link this up there, okay. I don't know if that's gonna kill them or re-kill them, but it should be able to stop them from moving for a bit. Run away, don't stay in there and watch them. God, she's just the dumbest. 
Why have I been spending all of my magical powers trying to help you live happily ever after and now constantly rescuing you if you're just gonna follow the danger? What do you mean zombie look-alike? You don't need a close-up look, it is a zombie. I can see bone. Like, if you wanna look like a zombie, then again, I can lop off a foot or a leg. Might've been a little bit generous there, but you can't just quasi-T pose to assert your dominance on the back end of a zombie. Speaking of back end, should I just try to make the zombie extra thick or what? That is one ballooned cheek, but no, of course not. So, how can I make you look like a zombie? Assuming that's what you want, zombies usually have torn up tattered clothes. You can then see some tatters, no? Do you want, like, makeup or, or a mask or... Yeah, she wants a mask. You don't look like a zombie. You look like salad fingers. How do you even manage to find these things? Like, I think this is supposed to be a mimic. It's a monster that looks like a chest, so it lures people in. And she's used to luring people in with her chest, so I'd imagine maybe we can talk things out peacefully because we have common ground. A bra, God, uh, bra. So much for that idea. Um, I think he wants a bra. So just whip it out, break it off, flop him over or not. I don't know what you're even doing. It's like you're rolling dice. I, I could give you like something like maybe a, a fire hose. Yeah, let's have you hit him with a fire hose. No, fire hose didn't work. Or like a, a rifle, maybe? Yeah, rifle like that. Look, I give it a give it a trigger. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't even have any context clues. There's nothing else here. I, I could try like shutting him up. What if, what if I seal his mouth? I just gave him more teeth, didn't I? That's a problem. What, what is this hand doing? This, this hand clearly wants something, like the world's most crappy sword or upside down. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. What do you want from me? Oh, you want a magic wand? Yeah, I love that I just start to have a mental breakdown scribble and then she's like, that that's perfect. That's exactly what I need. Thank you. I hear something. Let me guess, this six foot two tree is actually alive, and as soon as I do something to it, it's gonna eat your booty like groceries. Does that sound about right? I refuse to believe that you're not in danger, so maybe we can think ahead and equip you with an ax or flag? I don't know, man, I'm really trying here. We'll draw it like an ax. Oh, that's, that's kind of ax-like. Yeah, just chop it down. Like This is a really bad mouse to try to draw with. Oh, come on. I, I, I could just bring it back to life. But again, I feel like that's a huge mistake because it's then gonna yell into your cooter. Why do people keep doing that? I mean, it's rooted. We don't really need to be worried. It's just kind of rude. Honestly, is this supposed to be some kind of monster convention? Like, am I just not in on things? Because I refuse to believe that you're roaming around in a random woods and just so happen to encounter half a dozen zombies, Dracula, a Trent, Medusa, and you happen to be a werewolf yourself? Which, by the way, just kind of stopped being a thing all of a sudden. Should be a moon, it's the middle of the night. No, what about this moon? That, that moon is kind of in the background. I mean, she has a mirror, but it's not doing anything. Maybe you need to aim the mirror? What if I blindfold you or give you some badass sunglasses? It's really difficult if you keep moving. It's not quite as badass as I would hope. All right, Medusa, fine. I'm just gonna have to give you the tiggest of biddies and then hope that that helps me somehow. Oh, wait. What if I try to cut off your snakes? I don't think her power resides in her snakes, but she would be pretty pissed off. No? Like, I don't know how big I would need to draw anything anyway. Like, it's gotta have something to do with the mirror. Do you just need to like look into it? The mirror not reflective? Could... Oh, it was a mirror holder but it didn't have a mirror in it, so I drew a mirror. How do you draw a mirror? Oh, it's another wolf, or more specifically, another werewolf. 
<laughs> Unless this is just some kind of furry that showed up to the wrong convention hall, can I remove your head? <laughs> You are a little disproportionate. I'm, I'm starting to think probably not a real werewolf. You're fending it off with the banana. Are you just gonna try to feed it your banana? What if we get rid of the moon? Would Oh, I can piccolo the moon. And then when we do that, we get Prince Charming back and he can feed you his banana. <laughs> Finally, everyone lives happily ever after. You're welcome. All right, but you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Erase Master, guys. And even though we didn't do any erasing today, uh, I'll say once again, like I did last time, really enjoy the game. Now, all of these weird little mini games that are starting to make up mobile games are just fun to play. Like we've seen erasing and drawing and x-raying and stuff like brain out and brainwash. And I just wanna play more stuff like this. People seem to really enjoy it. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to see through whatever I want soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.